You've written a brand new machine learning model. Now it's time to put it into production. Deploying your model with an A-B test is a great way to prove how awesome your model is. There's just one problem. While your code might be perfect, your coworker, the person implementing the A-B test, their code has bugs. I'm TJ, and I've reviewed hundreds of A-B tests. Today, I want to tell you about the most annoying and hardest bugs you'll find when shipping an A-B test. An A-B test is just an experiment. We take a group of users, we randomly assign them into groups, and we give each group a different experience. Because the group assignments are random, we can compare the behavior of each group and make strong causal inferences about which experience is better. A-B tests are hard to write and require a different kind of precision than your typical front-end or back-end engineer may be used to. I want to talk about the code that's unique to A-B testing in the areas I find bugs the most. The first area is randomization. It's only in the last hundred years we've really appreciated the role of randomization in experiments, and computers have made it effortless. We want reliable randomization, so that when we split our users into groups, each group is functionally identical. If we have issues with randomization, then our groups may end up biased in one way or another. This weakens or eliminates any causal statements we can make about their behavior. There are a lot of bugs that can break randomization. I've seen off by one errors, race conditions, broken persistence, and bad waiting. Here's what you can do to help. Check how users are randomized into groups. We want to see either a seated random or hashing approach. Both of these provide deterministic randomness that gives us stronger guarantees when our experiment goes live. Next, check the test suite. You should see at least one test that simulates users being assigned into groups. If we're running an experiment with an 80-20 split, our test suite should check that the groups are of the right size within a tight tolerance. Last, you should verify how a user gets randomized over multiple experiments. A common issue I see is randomization that puts the same user into the control group every single time. We typically want randomization to be different for each experiment. The next area to check for bugs is in the treatment implementation. What we're looking for are bugs that may cause measurement bias. I've seen folks take shortcuts that unfairly impact the experimental treatment. Redirects, asynchronous execution that causes a screen flash, apps crashing, higher latency. These are all issues that can introduce bias. Here's what you should do. Participate in QA. Go and see the experiment yourself before you share it with users. Ask your engineering team about latency, crashes, and error rates. Find out if you can measure these in the context of your experiment. If there's an unavoidable lag in loading your treatment, consider applying that same lag to your control. That way you have a more fair comparison of what you're trying to test. The last and trickiest area of bugs has to do with caching. Because we're introducing something new, often that means it's not cached. Caching bugs can silently bias or even invalidate your entire experiment. Here's what you should do. First, learn about any caching systems your company uses. CDNs, edge caching, server-side caching, browser or client caching. These can all negatively impact your experiment. Ask questions about what gets cached and when. See if you can measure cache hit rates. You should know how long things are held in cache before expiring. And last, if caching will impact your experiment, see if you can warm the cache in advance. That way the experiment is fair. So that's it. Randomization, implementation, and caching are the three areas you're most likely to find bugs in A-B testing. If you want to become an expert, pick up trustworthy online controlled experiments. The Blue Hippo Book. I drew heavily on it for this talk. Happy bug hunting and enjoy the rest of NormConf.